I really hope that Deadpool 3 is as insane as the first two and that the mouse did not, you know, completely handcuff this project. That's like priority number one. It has to be, you know, a true Deadpool movie. It cannot be the Disney Deadpool because fans, they saw something different in the first two Deadpool movies and you had the, the superhero genre was at its peak, you know, Avengers, Infinity War, all these things, Guardians of the Galaxy. And along came Deadpool with his, you know, dick jokes and his fart jokes and, you know, taking it up the ass. And we all, you know, decided, you know what? We're going to make this a billion dollar franchise. We're going to give these two movies $700 million each. And, you know, we're going to support this. And so it really worries me that Disney, you know, would stick by their guns as far as like, no, we won't do this. No, we won't do that. Um, has to be like Christian values or whatever that, you know, Disney's going to do. But with this echo thing, yeah. I do have a little bit of hope. Like yeah. the TVMA. Okay. Okay. they uh, Deadpool first R rated MCU movie. King. Can we do it? And I, I believe in Ryan Reynolds and I believe in Hugh Jackman. And I, I believe that they will not let us down regardless, I guess is the one thing, you know, to be hopeful for. Yeah. I mean, I'm really hopeful for Echo, the Echo show. I mean, MA, what does that really mean, right? Uh, in the world of, or through Disney's eyes, through the mouse's eyes, what does TVMA look like, right? So just that we finally get to see uh, like more gore, like the blood, Right, et cetera, right? More gunplay, right? Et cetera. What does that really mean? Um, and I think it's gonna play the Echo Show is gonna play a very critical role in and even in up upcoming shows and movies like Deadpool 3. So we we definitely I think it Echo Show is going to pave the way. It's so important for it to succeed. And Deadpool has like one of the biggest potentials to tie in. With the okay. MCU. Yeah, we haven't talked about story yet, but yeah. Like with Loki leaving the multiverses and timelines and stuff. And then the the Marvels is rumored to have the Beast. Incursions. The, and, and, and one of the first ones, I guess, that we'll see. So, yeah. We're going to have Frasier as the Beast. <laughs> What's the guy's name? I can't remember. I don't know, but I know what you're talking Frasier about. Frasier as yeah. the Beast. Uh, my apologies. Um, which is not like the most exciting or memorable character, but it is something, I guess. No, it's funny. Speaking of streaming wars, I don't know what platform, what streaming channel, but Frasier 2 is happening. You know, the show. Kelsey yeah, Grammer. Kelsey Grammer. There we go. Well, he's okay. Um, he's good for him. He has season. He has work. That's a new season coming up. He has Frasier yeah. and he has the so Marvels. So I guess he's uh, quite a bit of a revival for him. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's, 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 it's one of those things that as a fan, if those rumors are true, and I guess we have to go and watch the movie, right? Um, you don't to have see, to. I mean, <laughs> if we really, really want to be the first ones to know for sure, then yeah, right? Um, but hopefully... It is an incursion, and hopefully we start seeing how they're going to kill the Fox universe, right? Or how Deadpool kills the Fox universe. I think that's going to tie into Deadpool 3, hopefully. That would um, be fun. Yeah. That would be really fun. It'll be. Will it be worth it for you if you watch the... the I think it would make it an enjoyable time it? at the movies. Like I yeah. said, it it would like kind of barely tie in if like that is what they are choosing to do with the Loki timelines and, you know, having Kelsey Grammer in the Marvels. Like I'm not particularly looking forward to Kelsey Grammer as the beast in the Marvels. Like that's not going to get me to the theater at all. But the idea of like confirming that, yes, we have brought the Fox X-Men in through this Loki timeline, like, hole in the, you know, whatever you want to call it, plot convenience, um, that now we can have a movie where Deadpool, who does interact with the X-Men, you know, kill them all off, you know, and kind yeah. of be done with it. Yeah, like, I always it, felt it, like it was it some fun. closure needed. Yeah. 
For It'd sure. It'd be a fun way to go yeah. out. And I mean, hopefully, um, I think the last Fox movie, I mean, um, X-Men related was The Mutants. That was like a waste. Did you ever see it? The New Mutants. The New Mutants. Oh my yeah, God. Mutants, yeah, yeah, I did with Arya Stark. <laughs> yeah. That's like all I can remember. She was in it. I, yeah, I barely remember that. There's That's like the a thing, wolf, the wolf on fire. She's the wolf. She's the wolf. She's the wolf. Okay, she's um, the wolf. And, you know, I mean, characters on paper. Again, characters on paper. You're like, okay, yeah, I want to watch them. And then the movie comes out, right? And the whole quality versus quantity, right? But back it, back back then, I think they had like a whole, before the the deal, before the merger or whatever. Um, yeah, it was already They going. had like a whole plan, but then that killed it. That killed the plan, but they were like, oh, and then that took a long time. They kept on postponing the release day for years. Yeah. Right, and then they finally were like, "Fuck it, fuck it, just put it out there." It was. I. I just felt like we just needed closure. That was the last one, the last movie produced by Fox, and it just felt like crap. In crap that, in, in the my Dark face. Phoenix. Yeah. Oh, I mean, was that the was that the last one? I think, I think Dark, Dark Phoenix, Phoenix was like the last X Men movie, and then I think yeah. the New Mutants was the or last. Some, yeah. Even though chronologically Fox, yeah. was. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you know, so yeah, I mean, hopefully it does get, um, we get that sense of closure and it's like a good sense of closure and it's like, we forgive you. But but then again, maybe we watch, we're going to watch the uh, the Marvels and then it was, there's no incursions. <laughs> so what, so what next? Are we like, we're ready to boycott? Are we going to like, ah, like... And, you know, it's so, I mean, that's how fed up we are. I mean, I wouldn't call it a boycott. I'm just on, like, a wait and see. Like, uh, what movies have I seen in the theater? Like, I don't think I, I saw Spider-Man No Way Home, and that's not even really an MCU movie. That was, like, a Spider-Man multiverse movie. Yeah. So you're already boycotting watching these movies on, like, in, in the theater. I'm just watching them on Disney+. Plus. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. It's like uh, I'm waiting to see if they're getting better yet. And I've decided, no, they're not getting better yet, so I'm not going to the theater. It's parting ways with my time and money. See, Mickey Mouse, what have you done? This is what you've done. It's on you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But like I said, right, it's 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 a light at the end of the tunnel. Um, hopefully it does work out. And hopefully we get to see Hawkeye, Moon Knight, Ms. Marvel, heck, even She-Hulk. All connected, all twerking together, whatever, right? But let me have them all in one same room. Well, everyone, thank you for listening and watching. This has been Raul. DJ PJ. We hope to see you with us again. Come back for more. Just come back. Just come back. Like, subscribe, do all that.